What's up guys? Hello Bass, Rich Lindgren here. Another Fantasy Fishing Edge and today we're going to cover, uh, review the Lake Hartwell Tournament and then get in the Winya Bay. Um, so the Hartwell Tournament went okay. Um, had some good picks in there. Um, I definitely like, <laughs> if you watched the last video, contemplated between Walters or Cobb and I went uh, Walters and, and uh, that was obviously the wrong pick because Brandon Cobb got the win and um, you know other than that I think my uh, only regret here is uh, Carl leaving me out to dry and almost finishing, or did finish in last place outside of uh, one guy being uh, DQ'd from the event and not participating. So, not good. Um, let's take a quick peek at um, some of the social media stuff. Um, here's Instagram, Bill Lowen. You'll see a common theme here. A lot of guys fishing in boats, but not showing much fish. Um, same here. Uh, Brandon Card putting it on the trailer, <laughs> hoping to find more fish tomorrow. Uh, um, probably the most interesting one here is actually uh, Clark Wentland's um, Facebook post here, um, saying he's got all kinds of different fish, including a bass here. So he's actually got a decent keeper here. Um, and you know, showing some pickerel and some mudfish and some crappie, and I think you got a gar. Um, so a couple interesting things. Uh, watch the social media guys making big long runs trying to find fish. Um, I really think the guys that fished here last time have an advantage knowing the system, being uh, they got to fish and be around and see where everybody caught all their fish. So I think that's gonna be a bit of an advantage. So if you want to check out the uh, standings from the uh, the 2016 Winya Bay tournament. Um, they fished about the same time of year in April, um, and you can see, you know, uh, guys like Keith Combs did well, Zaldane, Menendez, Matthew Heron, uh, John Cruz. Uh, those are all guys. Hank Cherry. Those are all guys that are not Hank Cherry. Um, but most, a lot of these guys are uh, fishing bass. So if you can look through that list, that might give you some information there. Um, but let's jump into the picks. Like I said, I'm going to go with guys that had a lot of experience uh, from the previous one. Um, so going pretty quickly, I'm going to give Carl one more chance to redeem himself. Otherwise, we're never picking him again. Um, Stephen Candy had a pretty good tournament here. Um, last time he's a pretty high pick I think Skylar Hamilton you know he's got the right boat for this um, Cliff Prince fishes uh, tidal waters in the St. John's um, so something to consider there um, going with Keith Combs in Bucket C because he did well here last time and he's uh, you know bound to have a good tournament um, I'm thinking Jason Williamson probably has some experience, um, at least had the opportunity being close to probably pre-practice, not really sure if he did. Um, bucket B, uh, I think Bill Lowen, Menendez, John Cruz, all good options here. Ultimately, I'm going to go with John Cruz uh, in this bucket. And, you know, uh, Zaldane is the guy with the previous experience in the Elite Series here, but Patrick Walters did win a team tournament in a uh, college invitational for bass where they blew out the field here and he lives only about an hour away so uh, I'm gonna keep riding that Patrick Walters train he's been good to me so far um, I did hear on uh, BTL live that Brandon Cobb has actually never been to one Yin Bay other than just a few days before the official practice so um, for me going guys with experience and guys that are local that's gonna be uh, my answer to this week's gonna try to kind of play a little bit safe I think it'll be about 54 pounds to win the event. Um, so there you go. That's this week's Fantasy Fishing Eds. Make sure to subscribe. Click on the bell for notifications. Stay tuned for more videos like this and other great content. And thanks for tuning in.